buying habits, can you tell that a girl went to Trails or Southern Exposure or Pinkies or American Bush or, or even Million Dollar Saloon, depending on what they buy? Um, you, I think the girls that um, come in from Trails and Southern Exposure, they usually spend a little bit more money. They buy more things. Um, they don't pay attention to price, really. If they see something they like, then they get it, whereas um, the other clubs, they are more aware of what they're spending. They look at prices more. Um, you know, sometimes there's things they really want and then they just don't get them because they don't have enough money. <laughs> so the attitude for a girl at Trails is money is no object because they're making it. Yeah, I mean, yesterday, making it. yesterday girls were being showered with money. This guy came in and literally threw handfuls of money, a lot of it ending up on the floor, just threw it so it would shower down. And I had never seen that before. I haven't either, but I'm not surprised. Those girls are the prettiest girls, I think. And, you know, I tip them when I go in there. But I don't know, you got some pretty hot girls that work here at Blue Boutique. Yeah, we got some cute. You guys are hot. You guys are hot. I see you. It's good. You know what I mean? It's really funny. Um, so, it's almost like, yeah, screw going to the club. Just go shop at Blue yeah, Boutique and you'll... Yeah, we get a lot of attention from that too. And like, um, even when we're out and somebody asks us where we're... Because um, a lot of us, we're friends. We're pretty much family here because all of us have been here for so long. So we'll all go out together and we'll ask us where we work because, you know, we're just a bunch of little funky, sassy girls with tattoos. And we'll tell them Blue Boutique and they want to be your friend. Or, it's like, especially dudes, like... They think you're some sex freak because you were good at a sex shop. Are you? So, um, some of the girls are. I mean, we're surrounded by sex all day. You know, it kind of makes you a little bit more open-minded to things and um, things like that. But I can't speak for everybody. Well, what I have you ever seen guys that'll come in here just to cruise chicks, or even guys that sort of like, hey, can I get your phone number? Oh, um, yeah, we've all been approached. Um, sometimes it's good and sometimes it's bad. Um, they think that we're escorts, they, and they can offer us money, things like that. Wow. Yeah, I'm like, you think they pick up a City Weekly, or, you know, the girls advertise in there, we even have some of their cards, and so, yeah, they just assume that we're going to be like, yeah, Mr. Clone, let's go, like, I don't know, it's weird, they're usually, like, grooming different people. How about, um, just guys picking up on customers, do they do that, and they're like, you, you can kind of hear them over by the platform stilettos, like, hey, what are you doing tonight, here's yeah, my phone. Yeah, you know, I've never seen that. Okay. Yeah, I've never seen anybody pick up on customers. So people <laughs> set boundaries here. Yeah, um, you know, we have to get used to the fact that we have to talk about sex with people, you know. Sometimes we hear a little bit more information than we want to hear, but that's our job. Um, but we don't have to put up with crap. If people are being inappropriate, then, you know, I've told people you're being inappropriate, and if you continue, you're not going to be able to shop here. Because... I mean, it's just like any other kind of abuse. Well, you know what shock? It you know the piercings don't shock me. Fuck, have your balls cut off, put a put a hook through it. That doesn't bother me at all. The sex area is fun, if, if not in, in, in lightning. Like yeah. what? Like the, there's some lube in there which tightens up your anus so you're tighter. I'd never even heard of that, right? But the thing that trips me out. Oh, God, the thing that I couldn't get out of my head. Um, it wasn't the stilettos. It wasn't the sex. Fuck, I got a brain Was freeze. The bondage? <laughs> There's some weird things in the case. <laughs> well, maybe. What was it? Go ahead. Well, tell us about that. Um, some of the weirdest things are probably the torture devices. Um, we have dilators in there also to dilate your urethra. To make the um, <laughs> to make your uh, penis hole larger. Um, wow. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Just, and what is what do you do with that? Or why do you do that? Um, you know, there's a fetish for everything. Um, so some people are into it, um, and there are a lot of men that like to, for some reason, torture their penises. And so, yeah. <laughs> do, you guys, do you guys sell live hamsters? <laughs> no. I'm surprised we don't actually. We get everything else.
We have a vibrating hamster, but it's not a lion. You do? And, yeah, and it has a cord, so you can so you, retrieve it. It's like retrieval. You put a battery in it? Uh huh. Well, there's a cord. Wow. <laughs> and um, on the end of the cord, that's like the battery pack. And then, yeah, there's. How much hamster. are they? Do you They're deliver? Like $10. <laughs> They're, I'm sorry, how much? $9 oh, I think you said $100 and 99 <laughs> No, we have uh, remote control bullets that are like $100. Oh, in San Francisco, there was a there was a place where girls bought their shit, and um, they said that uh, like they didn't sell prostitution, but they could you could come there and sort of almost be like, yeah, I'm looking for a dancer for a bachelor party, and they would give the information. Do they use Blue Boutique like that? Like a reference, like, I'm having a bachelor party and I need a girl? Um, well, we get questions like that, and then, yeah, we just refer them either to a club or, um, yeah, like I said, girls advertise all the time in City Weekly. And it never trips you out that you're in Salt Lake City? No. Well, I've been, I was born and raised in Utah, and I actually uh, grew up in a very conservative town that had dirt roads, it was country, all the neighbors knew each other, we waved. Um, but I've always been a little bit crazy myself, so this doesn't shock me. I lived in California for a couple of years, but I love it here. I mean, when you get to know the good underground parts, I, it's great. And like, the people here, it's so much easier to grow down with the people here because we run in such a small little group and, and so.